Okay, we'll try it one more time. Okay. And just like that, we are a month into 2024 and it is time for February's subscription video. I'm very happy to be brewing our Guatemala La Florida this month because I really feel like this coffee exemplifies a bit of who we are as a coffee roasting company. But first, I'm gonna get into the recipe. I'm using 15 grams of coffee. I'm gonna give it a quick little spray, cut down the static, and I'm gonna use my favorite grinder, the Q2S which I affectionately refer to as a small but mighty grinder. I ground 15 grams of coffee at about 6.5 on the Q2S. I'm gonna do a very basic, very simple recipe. So 50 gram bloom, pour up to 150, then 200, then 250, then you're going to let it drop down. A 50 gram bloom, just gonna make sure you get all the grounds wet. Okay, and you're gonna let it sit for 30 seconds. Then you're gonna do a second pour up to 150 grams it's gonna be nice, steady, gentle, with a consistent pour and flow rate. And then two final pours of 50 grams. One of the reasons why I really love this coffee and why I think it kind of illustrates who we are as a company is that it is a very forgiving, enjoyable coffee. A very simple brew recipe is gonna bring out lively flavors. So Guatemalan coffees are known for their chocolate, nutty notes, they're very approachable. And this coffee has that. It has mild nut, chocolate sweetness, but in true to kind of rogue wave form, it also has lively fruit notes in the form of raspberry, and also some lively acidity, some really nice backbone that is very interesting. So this La Florida is also one of our mainstay espressos in our shop. So I'm also gonna do a simple, easy espresso recipe utilizing the AeroPress. Okay, for this espresso recipe, I'm gonna use the AeroPress Flow Control, which is kind of an adapter that allows you to build up a little bit of pressure in the AeroPress. It's very similar to the Fellow Prismo. I'm gonna grind 18 grams at about 1.1 on the X-Ultra. So I'm gonna put that ground 18 grams in. Now it's gonna be very, very simple. I'm just gonna add 60 grams of water. I'm gonna stir pretty aggressively for about 30 seconds. Okay. I'm gonna put the flow control on nice and snug. And then at one minute, we're just gonna flip over and gently give it like a nice, you know, extract all that nice sweetness a nice, something akin to espresso without the expensive espresso machine. Hey, wait, wait, Dave, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Hi, everyone. I think you're missing something, Dave. Here's an ice cream for you. Oh, man. What's better than an affogato? Espresso and ice cream. Thank you, Ply. Here's the spring being here soon. It's really good. <laughs> really good. <laughs>